Good morning. Day two. Slept very well. It was funny. Um, I slept really, really good. A couple times during the night, I woke up because the bed was just shaking a little bit, you know, the way it does on a cruise. And it, it, it kind of rocked me awake and I thought, dog, stop shaking the bed. <laughs> I forgot I was on a ship. That happens sometimes. So anyway, it was a very good night. And I woke up to that. I'll take you out there in a moment. I wanted to tell you, okay, so the body pillow, the body pillow is uh, formidable. <laughs> I think that's the right word. It's huge, huge, and it's heavy. It's not like my body pillow at home. This pillow, <clears throat> this pillow here was awesome. It really was. Um, although it did not, it did not stop from getting hot. It got hot. I was hoping that it wouldn't get hot. The beds here, okay, the beds, if you've never been on a celebrity, are curved. They're curved, so our feet fall off the edge. So both of us are congregating our feet, you know, in the middle there. So yeah. All right, guys, let's go outside. So I didn't wake up and have coffee or anything today. We're going to we're going to a destination seminar and then we're going to the um, to a galley um, tour in Silhouette. So I just got up at about 6.30 and got dressed. It's 7 o'clock now. Actually, let's see, 7.15. 7.15, there's land out there. Land. Yes, there is. There's lots of land. Those two things, I don't know what we're doing today. Um, relaxing. If anything, if anything interesting happens, I'll, you'll be with me. But otherwise, I just wanted to say good morning. It's a gorgeous day. It's so nice out here. I mean, I'm in short sleeves and it feels fantastic. March 4th day after our 18th anniversary and um, it's a good day and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful all right well i'm gonna finish getting ready and we will go to the destination seminar, see what that's all about. See? So while I've got you out here watching the ocean, um, looking at my chair, I was going to, I don't know how much I told you last night about, <coughs> oh, it's loud, about, um, about um, talking to the future cruise desk yesterday. So we're looking at getting a um, an infinite veranda on the edge, which is Celebrity's new ship, for our anniversary next year. And if you don't know what that is, and if I didn't tell you already, it is, um, it's a veranda where the whole wall of windows um, and I'm not sure how the door works but um, the whole the whole wall goes up and opens up the entire veranda so that the outside and the inside there's no barrier so it makes your cabin larger I mean appear larger because you, the balcony becomes part of the room there's no wall 
Isn't that awesome? It's really awesome. Go online and look at um, the Edge, and the Celebrity Edge, and there's a lot of cool features about this cruise ship. Okay, guys, we are at the um, Gastro Bar for a, um, a special concierge class destination um, seminar type thing. An enrichment program, maybe. We'll see. So, yeah, let me show you. This is the gastro bar. That's, that's Doug. <laughs> So that's what we're doing right now. I'll, if there's anything worthy of seeing, I'll I'll tape it for you. So this is what it is. Did you bring your paper? So I'll let you know what it's all about. So if you are on Celebrity and you get this in your stateroom, I'll let you know what it's all about. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Wanna go? Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that I am going to post the first day I did post the first day for you guys to watch and um, then the the rest will be posted when I get back I just wanted to give you something because I didn't do the live stream I'm, a, I'm still looking into that and I'm gonna do it if I can figure it out but for this trip I didn't do it um, maybe when I get back I'll figure out how to live stream and I'll go to the beach or Maybe I'll take a tour or something for you and figure it out. But in the meantime, I didn't figure it out. So I didn't live stream, although I did do some live video from Instagram, but not the same. Uh, the stage is because no one knows. <laughs> they, are, they all have a different version. Uh, it's supposed to be a part of the Commonwealth. Um, but at the same time, the states don't really have a Commonwealth. So it is a, a dear uh, uh, territory, uh, but at the same time, they don't have any uh, say on voting or anything. But they do have the American passport, and they can move free, freely. In one, well, Puerto Rico itself was a, was an island that was uh, discovered by uh, Christopher Columbus on his second trip to America. Are doable? They said that the beach is fine, everything is, is back to normal on the beach. Well, the beach doesn't really need that much, right? Only the chairs and the umbrellas. St. Martin has always been very well known because of the beach. So that is how, uh, and the snorkeling as well. Um, if you've done snorkeling in, in St. Martin before, definitely after the hurricane, you might want to do it again because to the landscape Martin. has changed completely. So it's Since going to be a completely different experience. And um, I don't know if you know, but St. Martin is a two-nation island. Do you know that? Okay, more damaged by the hurricane, okay? But we do have tours going to Marigot because they do have uh, restaurants back up and running. They have shops back up. Uh, actually, if you were looking for high-end shopping, Marigot is the place because it's, it's very French. They, they, they like to believe that they are France, and actually they are part of France. Um, Every kid that, that is born in Marigot or in the in the French side is European. They have the French passport, and they can actually go to school and college in France with uh, the same benefits and everything. It's a little bit different for the Dutch side. They are pretty much independent. They are still part of the Commonwealth for, uh, of uh, the Netherlands. 
This is the Lawn Club. This is the Whiskey House at the Lawn Club in there, which, you know what, I should show you. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Show you what, here's the ping pong table. It's nice that it's inside. Yeah, John Walker and Sons. Nice. Pretty bottles. And there's the uh, whiskey house. Where are you going? You should take your shot. You didn't want to go out that side? Yeah. Go out that side. I was just looking around while you were doing The studio's up here. So they actually mow this lawn with a lawnmower. It's windy up here. This is where the hot glass show traditionally has been. That they're having some sort of hot glass uh, class today. this close. I don't think we've ever sailed this close to Cuba before. But, um, yeah, we have to go to a galley um, tour, so I can't go out and show you. We're on our way to a um, galley tour in our restaurant, The Silhouette, so I can't go out and show you Cuba, but we're really close. Okay, cool. So everyone's off the floor. So you should arrive early. Uh, we didn't, and it's very crowded. 